Good morning everyone and welcome to uh, the first video of this uh, US trip. Um, I'm quite jet lagged, so, um, so, but I'm also really, really excited because uh, we spent yesterday just uh, driving all the way to, uh, to Delta where we are now, because today, today is the day where we go and visit Whiting. So really, really excited, really, really thrilled. This is gonna be one of the coolest days of the years. We're visiting Whiting. So everyone, we have arrived. This is the Whiting offices. They have some of their stock here, some of their barns here, but they have them other places. It's really, really nice scenery. There's just a lot of mountains here, and but otherwise everything is a bit rugged, a bit dry and, and so on. But basically, this is here where the world's finest and best hackles are produced. Now I'll enter. So this is Phil. This is one of the, <laughs> the main guys here. Say hi, Phil. <laughs> I'm just going to show them around your office. No worries. It's it's a it's a wonderful mess, Phil. So you can see, <laughs> you can see behind here is just just an amazing amount of of just awesome awesome capes. I'm just going to switch the camera so I can show you and and talk a bit about Here's that. For instance, some of the new heritage product lines and just awesome awesome dry fly capes. Just as long as the eye can see, there are just <laughs> goodies, 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 dry fly capes galore here. Here are some Hebert's that are bronze grade, I think. We bought a few of those. And if you go out here, you can see this very, very huge stack of uh, of crates. All of these are just filled to the to the bursting with uh, with ungraded products. So so these will be graded and then shipped out. And again, here you can just see more of the heritage product line. Some saddles. Just. <laughs> just. Hey, get out of here, hey? Yeah, hello. Hey, how you doing this morning? Ah, great. We're back in Hackle Heaven, so everything is as it should be. <laughs> yeah. So, you saw that. It's just. Yeah, it's great always this is just just unbelievably and and overwhelming in in <laughs> in any regards i mean it's just it's just feathers 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 as long as the eye can reach you know so this is just one aisle and there are just aisles and aisles and aisles so it's just <laughs> for me at least it's 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 a heaven to get get here every single time um, I want to show you a bit of the different stuff um, um, uh, later on, but you know when you when you arrive here, it's it's basically just it's it's just a a, a couple of houses with with, uh, f with basically farms with with chickens, and then you just enter this this just absolutely amazing and magnificent place, and yeah, it's just awesome. So I just pulled out a box here. This is some red label some some i think this is bar ginger in in different varieties and just and that's just one box you know just the aisle and aisle and aisle of just absolutely f magnificence and and just the best quality materials out there it's just it's really really awesome a lot of people have been asking quite frequently about the uh, the spay and as you can see here behind me is the spay product line wall. Um, uh, all of the boxes are empty, at least for all the capes. There are a few of the saddles left, um, and, and we discussed this and talked about this with um, with the people here, and they said um, they're trying. They're trying to do the best they can to get the uh, the spay product line back on track, but it's it's really really difficult. So so um, the spay the spay roosters are some of the most difficult to breed. Um, they require a lot of things that that many of the others don't, and uh, and also they, they 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 will do their best because they know how much you guys out there love the spay capes. So so they're trying, but but. It, it, it's you know it's it's in the wind at the moment there are, there are no certainties and no guarantees in life but they're doing the best they can and they, and i think we we have to be satisfied with that for now <laughs> so perhaps at the at the end of uh, of 2023 um but you know 
I, I, I don't know more than that, and, and neither do the people here. So, so they're, they're doing their absolute best, but there are no guarantees. <laughs> Another thing I came across is this framed, uh, this framed cape. This is a Cree, and, and the grade here is ultra platinum. So this is the, without a doubt, most uh, highly graded item you can get from Whiting. There are so few of them, I have ever never seen anyone besides this one here. But this one here is actually fairly old. I think it's, it's 12 or 14 years, something along those lines old, which means that this would, had it, this cape been of, you know, uh, found on a rooster today, it would not have been an ultra platinum because um, through the generations, uh, the hackles get better and better. So this means that uh, a cape like this would now probably only be a gold. So, um, so as, as Whiting, you know, continues to evolve uh, and, and continues to, to, to produce even better and better and better hackles, um, the, uh, the average level of, of, the, of the different grades um, gets, of course, a lot better and better in quality. So the ultra platinum. <laughs> it's just awesome as well. Another fun uh, thing I just came across is, uh, is, is, is this one. Here you can see how the, uh, how the different capes and saddles are, are progressing over time. So you can see the, the, these are back from 1972 and 1992, 1996 and 1999. And you can really, really see there is just a huge, huge amount of difference between uh, between these uh, these products, so so Whiting of course continues to to develop and to and to and to increase the uh, the quality and 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 to to just make the more and more perfect uh, hackle for you. So stuff like this is also just a lot of fun to 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 see you know see the timeline see see how it really how it really progresses. <laughs> this room here is is probably. Probably one of the uh, it's it's almost like the inner sanctum. This is uh, this is where where um, where Tom keeps all his his legacy things. See, there are some some paper clippings. There are some unique unique feathers here, um, from uh, featured in all si all types of different books and from from breeders from from going back seventy years. There are some roosters um, that were uh, uh, on display from from just before he bought Hoffman. Those are our Hoffman legacy um, roosters. And then over here, I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit bad here, but but that, that's just how it is. Over here, we kind of have you know we have all his books and all different flies and stuff. But over here, we have kind of like a hall of fame of all the most. Most most beautiful, diff, diff, different and 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 special birds throughout the uh, the history of whiting that he has decided to you know have have I don't know if it's called stuffed but they are just you know magnificent to behold so it's it's really really amazing to to be able to go here and and talk a lot to Tom um, and uh, and and we have. We have talked a lot about doing a, a lot of more videos, but but to go over here and do a do a really really thorough um, video project with Tom regarding watching it in the future. I don't know when that's going to be, but it's going to be. But it's probably it's probably a year or two in in, in out in the future. But <laughs> as always, it's just absolutely amazing to vis visit with watching. So there you go, the uh, the Hall of Fame of watching farms. Well, that was it for the uh, for the Whiting visit for this time. As always, it was a, a true pleasure to to visit with with Tom and Phil and Jake and uh, and and see all the magnificent and just yeah. <laughs> I'm almost I'm almost speechless. Speechless. It it it's, it really is uh, an amazing impression to to see how far uh, Whiting has you know. Has, has come in, in regards to producing uh, materials for us uh, ultra nerds who, who just enjoy fly tying and, and well, there's, there's Whiting and then there's all the rest. But, um, but Whiting is, is special and, and it was a really, really good visit. Um, now we have a six hours drive through the desert um, until, uh, until we reach uh, Utah again and, uh, and Salt Lake City. 
um, where we're gonna do the uh, the next couple of, uh, of of road trip videos. We're going to the IFTD fair to uh, to see all the new stuff from all the all the big branches, uh, all all the big brands, um, and uh, and more will follow. Now we have a a long long drive ahead of us. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe to the channel and swing by Nordic Anglers, of course. Um, and and stay tuned for for more road trip videos in the in the upcoming days.